set of slides is about uh, um, uh, a project that uh, you know myself and also uh, uh, Mr. Uh, and and uh, and Srinath and several others uh, have started uh, about uh, a year or two years back. And uh, so this is called, uh, and, and uh, this was started uh, with the intention of, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, sparking an interest uh, about the, these technologies, the third industrial revolution, digital manufacturing, um, uh, and, and, you know, uh, you know, getting used to these technologies uh, uh, in the near future. So with that idea, we started something called uh, uh, Fab Lanka and, uh, Fablanca is uh, uh, an organization where we, we plan to, uh, to start uh, some innovation centers for Fab Lab. Fab Lab. Uh, so the uh, Fab Lab mean it's uh, like a uh, very uh, uh, advanced uh, technology center where you have many uh, you know, advanced tools uh, that we talked earlier and. Uh, and with those centers, we can uh, design and, and manufacture some uh, some products that we, we were never we were not able to do with the conventional technologies in the past. So, uh, so that provides you know uh, a lot of access to the technologies and uh, a lot of opportunities to the lo local community, and uh, we can, can use that mechanism or the platform for triggering uh, innovation. Uh, so right now we are our focus is Sri Lanka. So, uh, um, so the so this Fab Lab is a it's a concept developed by uh, uh, MIT or Institute of Technology in uh, in the French United States. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned, it's a, it's a Fab Lab is a technologically advanced local workshop offering digital fabrication uh, tools. Uh, so when, you know when they develop this uh, concept, uh, they had this term where in a fab lab you can find everything you need to build almost anything. So that's uh, uh, you know that's very uh, you know I know it's a very uh, uh, high level task, but it's still there are a lot of capabilities of course. But although it's says you can build almost anything, you may not be able to build almost anything. But uh, with uh, you know if you if you take uh, you know, if you have a target, then you can, you know, develop these tools and at least at the end, you can uh, end up with uh, building anything you want. Okay. So, so, um, so that's basically the, the, the high level concept. So it will have these, uh, you know, a lot of 3D modeling software and uh, a lot of digital uh, control machines and small hand tools, of course, and then, you know, materials. And then uh, the most importantly, uh, open uh, sharing of uh, knowledge and thinking. Uh, that's that will happen uh, uh, not just within that uh, that fab lab, but uh, you know globally. So that's uh, that's our concept basically. Uh, so uh, so with that, we have this uh, project called Fab Lanka, where we plan to you know uh, provide uh, you know new tech, new technologies and engage local societies and you know spark innovation and and uh, you know uh, start on uh, manufacturing of some advanced products and also providing education and also providing employment uh, opportunities and entrepreneurship uh, opportunities so uh, so we do have a web page and also facebook page uh, um, so you can go to those later so our aim with, with that project is to uh, 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 make a like a maker society uh, in, in Sri Lanka, so where uh, any local community should be able to get together and uh, basically develop any product they want and make it right there with the help of uh, uh, the experts around the world. So, so that's uh, that's our mission uh, uh, with that Fab Lanka project. All right. So with that, I would like to take uh, any questions on on the talk and you know email. It's a lot of materials, of course, that I went through and. Uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, you may have a lot of questions on, on certain things that I talked. Okay, so I'm in the back to you. So if you have any uh, questions from the audience, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, get them and discuss. 
Okay, so we have question here. Uh, audience is here. So questions, comments, if you want to back back and take them over to the next channel. Uh, we use close to Microsoft uh, this house, right? What is it? You do most of Bill Gates' house. Yeah, Bill Gates' house is about uh, three miles from my house here. Okay, so question. Don't ask me about it. Like, 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 more open source software, like. So, questions. They are trying to still digest what you say. <laughs> I know it's a lot of things and I went very fast as well. No, but that's good because uh, we need some people to come in. Okay. If you cannot meet me, so don't worry, I am in the Okay, so the question is actually made more on like uh, how quite is it for on the intellectual property right? Do you hear me, right? Yes, sir. So, so now he's asking uh, a company who develop new designs, new uh, products, how they can protect their profit, competitive advantage, or their uh, ownership of that particular product or design, uh, because through internet, uh, through 3D printing, now it's very easy to copy, duplicate, and even produce without knowing or informing the original guy. Yeah, so, so there are some... Uh, um, uh, Really, uh, like today, there's no, no way to protect, of course, but then there are some uh, industrial, uh, like uh, ISO uh, organization is trying to come up with uh, some uh, different uh, uh, data formats where you can, uh, uh, you can uh, include uh, encryption, like uh, if it's a digital model which contains a digital design, you can have a encrypted uh, you know set of data within that models so we are only a person with that uh, encrypted password uh, um, can uh, open it up so so they're, they're, those are underway right now uh, by the iso organization so there there will be different uh, 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 today uh, today the the, the digital uh, uh, manufacturing for the for the 3d printing we use uh, the stl format um, uh, that that can be opened by anybody. You cannot encrypt that actually. But then there is something called uh, uh, some some new data format uh, emerging uh, called uh, 3DF, and that will have data encryption actually. So that not not everybody will be able to uh, open. But uh, and so this, so that, that that that's what they they are trying to do. But now um, you know, in my view, it is better to have. Uh, uh, the 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 open designs so uh, because uh, that, that's what we the, the world needs actually but the the, uh, the corporate uh, corporations don't like it but the people have a lot of people around the world have taken steps to uh, you know open a lot of designs out to the world so uh, so that's why it's uh, again not only a technological revolution there may be uh, you know social revolution uh, in terms of how we produce things in the in the future so that's uh, that's uh, still to be seen in the future. I think it's very important because they can mention it, the new idea of open development. Because now, yeah, I will fix the guys. So let's like to think about ownership of intellectual creation. 
However, we have to now rethink about new ways of uh, innovation, new ways of different models of the company. Now that is why uh, in the video I showed you the next uh, and music in the so same way. Uh, now we have to think about how not that we buy selling pieces anymore. We earn money as company. But we have to But what Asian mentioned was the more important thing. Countries like us who lost in the original other industrial revolution. Now we have a new way of bridging for this problem. We don't have to go after Microsoft now. We can collaborate with open development people like creation or other people and you can have your own uh, design production done locally. So uh, it is a new opportunity for developing country or countries in the south complete with already with already companies and also countries. More questions? So that is why it's called industrial revolution. So you have to really think about the entire way of looking at issues, not only about in the technology itself, but how, for example, earn money, how you uh, production and the distribution will reach target audience. So uh, the uh, company, small company, can now even compete and even destroy uh, Microsoft. So, uh, any more questions? Thank you for the question, sir. You won't get daily, in daily, you won't get uh, guys from going to the office. So, ask the question. Daily. Okay, the question is, mm -hmm. uh, question is uh, now uh, because of this possibility, uh, now you can uh, do kind of bad thing. Uh, uh, Printing uh, guns, printing weapons. So, so how how can you kind of address that kind of negative implication of that? Yeah. So yeah, in fact, uh, that uh, that already happened in the U.S. So someone um, printed a gun about two years back, and then then they they brought uh, some legislation uh, that banned uh, uh, using 3D printing for making uh, weapons. Uh, so there, there has to be some, uh, of course, uh, some changes in the, the law uh, in terms of how you, you know, uh, you know what, are, what is allowed uh, in terms of uh, manufacturing. So yeah, that's 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 a dangerous uh, thing, of course. You know, any criminal will be able to make his own gun, and uh, you know, kill anybody easily. And that's a, that's a crisis in uh, in USA, I mean, not in, not in Sri Lanka, but uh, that. Uh, that is been all uh, you know already uh, you know considered by the the law you know uh, the, the legislative people here in the US and a lot of discussion going on and I think same has to happen in uh, in other countries as well in terms of enforcing some uh, laws uh, about uh, you know what is ethical to manufacture uh, using these technologies um, yeah, so that's that's going to be a challenge uh, for the future of course but uh, there has to be some changes in the law, uh, and then how we enforce those uh, is going to be again challenging as well, uh, because you know all the law is there, then you can you know you can break the law and do it still. So, uh, so it's it's you know it's again uh, uh, we have to uh, you know change the people's behavior as well. I mean the. With the, with, the, with the advancement of these technologies, the, the people's behaviors are going to change as well. So some of these behavior changes may help uh, to avoid uh, such kind of bad effects as well. But that's uh, that's not uh, true all the cases, but there may be you know, a lot of things to consider and uh, um, you know, solve in the future in terms of those, things, and those bad, uh, bad effects. 
Saying that because of this uh, technology, uh, uh, in economies where there are big manufacturing plants, maybe like China, uh, US, some part, part of uh, Asia, maybe Mexico, so they will lose, for example, jobs or uh, unskilled or human jobs because of uh, 3D printing. What do you think? Yeah. Well, uh... Well, yes, uh, it may have some uh, impacts to China and uh, Mexico, of course, because, uh, like, uh, for example, U.S. can uh, bring all manufacturing back to back to U.S. And in fact, that's that may happen uh, anyway. Um, uh, so there may be a, uh, as I said, this is a, like a, a technology that can have a lot of social implications. So. Uh, that uh, there may be uh, job losses uh, around the world, uh, especially the the, the the factories that are manufacturing for US uh, may lose, the, you know, their their advantages there. Uh, the and that's uh, that's going to be a good thing in my view because you know, uh, the you know everyone gets a chance to uh, you know look at uh, how they you know want to acquire things. You know, so that's why this is going to be a move into a different par paradigm if, uh, if that happens. Uh, so, uh, so it, it's again uh, we have something that uh, we cannot exactly predict, predict for the future, but uh, uh, it's going to have major uh, social implications uh, you know, in the workforce uh, uh, in, in in next uh, five, uh, ten years to twenty years time time frame uh, because. Uh, uh, you know, if you if you if you get to a point where uh, there are machines uh, that can virtually manufacture anything, uh, uh, that uh, that's going to change the whole uh, whole system that we have today. So, uh, and, uh, and then, so we 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 may we may have to think in terms in terms of services only at the end. So we can uh, you know provide services to to people, but the uh, the manufacturing may, may, be, may be local. That's that's one possibility. But the other other one may be that uh, uh, it, it may go in the negative way as well. Like uh, a country like US and other advanced countries may get more competitive advantage if other people just you know, don't care, and they they will be uh, driven to more poverty as well. So it you know it's uh, uh, it's going to determine how uh, people engage uh, with the technology in the future. 
uh, that's why I think in, in Sri Lanka we are trying to engage people uh, from right now uh, and, and gain access to the technology and uh, you, know, uh, you know start using the technology uh, uh, for the for their uh, you know benefit uh, in the future. So, uh, as you Now, uh, in, in at, at uh, Boeing, what kind of uh, 3D printing applications you use for uh, plane manufacturing? What are the, like uh, direct uh, currently happening uh, things? Yeah. So, so mainly the currently what we have is uh, uh, like there are a lot of, lot of 3D printing machines actually at Boeing, but all those are used for manufacturing interior parts, not the structure, but the like the the seat parts and the you know when you the, the the lavatories and uh, you know over, overhead galley galley parts and uh, so all, uh, mainly uh, you know not the the, the large uh, weight carrying parts like the structure itself but a lot of uh, interior parts that the, the passengers uh, you know interact with this and uh, also the, but that is that is the that is current uh, uh, usage um, there are plans actually to even uh, uh, manufacture the wings using 3D printing. Those are at a research level. Um, also, there are uh, there are parts in the the engines that uh, you know, as as you know, the Boeing does not make any airplane engines. They buy the engines from other companies like GE, Pratt and Whitney. Um, uh, so those engines uh, do have some very highly sophisticated small parts that are manufactured by uh, uh, 3D printing actually. because 3D printing uh, can be done using the, the titanium uh, powder so the titanium parts are you know very small uh, but the problem with those is still very expensive those machines are very expensive and, uh, so that's why uh, like, uh, for certain uh, very intricate parts in the jet engines they use 3D printing although the cost is higher they get the best quality and uh, uh, best properties that they want uh, using 3D printing. So that that's right. So, so so certain parts, the cost is very high today, uh, like the, especially the metal parts. But the plastic parts are making plastic parts are more cheaper today with the 3D printing. So that's why Boeing uses more plastic parts for the interior uh, stuff. But uh, more advanced, uh, uh, like expensive ones, are used for very expensive uh, uh, parts of the uh, the plane, like the engine. Um, so yeah, that's that's where we are today. But uh, as I said, there are a lot of uh, projects going on uh, uh, for applying the the three D printing for the airframe structure as well. Okay, thank you, Grace, and we uh, we are kind of ending our time now. So thank you very much for joining from there. Do you want to say something finally? To sentence the class, the Sri Lankan guys in general. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you for listening, and uh, yeah, good luck with you all. Uh, uh, future endeavors, and then uh, I hope you will, you know, have some insights from this, and then may, it may benefit you in the future if you pay attention and also uh, try to learn some of these. Uh, um, not not just learning uh, in terms of technical aspects, but uh, in terms of uh, you know just knowing, and then how to you know what is coming up for the future, and then how that that will benefit you in your uh, in any project in the future, both technically and then in terms of management. Uh, 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 you know, manage, managing any, anything uh, in the future because these are not, uh, you, you can you will not be able to get away from uh, these technologies. So, so uh, that's that's the important point I want to make. Uh, once again, thank you for listening for about an hour and uh, yeah, good luck. Okay, all the best. Thank you very much for your work today. Now, I hope that you can you want to go now, right? Yeah, yeah okay. I have to go. Uh,
Yeah, that's all. That's the only question. All right. All right. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, let's finish this recording. And then, no, 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 it's not recorded now. Okay, end the meeting. Okay, so. Uh,